see this. Look, they give you that at the airport, the number of the taxi, the, um, the date, and the telephone. Well, that's the telephone number of the company. And so there's no mucking about. I think it's a great idea. Ho Chi Minh City, the big smoke. Check this out. It's about five-ish. What time is it? Quarter past five. So we'll see a bit of traffic on the way to the hotel, but this will be on the meter. I reckon it'll cost us a hundred. Don't you think? Is it normally? About a hundred thousand. But again, a hundred and twenty or something. But again, most of the people who get robbed are people who think they're outsmarting some local misfit, buff-headed taxi driver, and they're going to—he's going to do it cheap for them, cheap, cheap you, meaning you're an imbecile. Come in my car. I can tell you have a very small brain. Please come in my car, you, to Molo. And it's just pointless. What? And how much are you going to knock off this, uh, you know, ten dollar or fifteen dollar air fare, uh, cab fare? Boy, more cheap, cheap you. If you're trying to get a discount off a fifteen dollar cab fare, you should go home. Really and truly. But they're a bit more law-abiding down here because they're all sort of very staunch members of the Communist Party in the south, much more so than in the north. And people stop at red lights, the coppers do their job better, there's the tourist police, so, um, you know, it's interesting. Otherwise it's the same place, Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City are the same cities really, one's bigger than the other, it's about all. Except that here, and it's funny, the union membership's really high here, Membership of the party is really high here, and um, 